So, um, <clears throat> yeah, we didn't, so, I remember the part one of um, Epidemic Simulations? I forgot to talk about pandemics, where every community gets it. So, should we try to think of every single way that there can be a pandemic? Okay, let's try it. Like, basically, it's like this. I think one way to do it is to have something crazy. And, yes, yes! <laughs> Spread! Uh, anyways, a pandemic is when every single community has the disease. So, in here, the tra there's lots of travel, so many communities should get it. And, yeah, I know it's already happened, so you might be thinking that, um, yeah, you just knew that because you saw that, but it's obviously not true because it's just so obvious. There's a 10% chance that an individual would travel to another community, so that's the proof. Okay, the disease is going away by now. And, um, it should go up a level a bit, maybe. When, sh when is it? The disease is spreading for a long time. It took a lot of days, but it did work. So, that did reach pandemic levels. But this time, let's have the chance to 100%, but, and you're like, but, now let's reduce the chance to less than a percent. As you can see, the travel is not high. Anyways, while the simulation is running, let's watch a part of this video about the, you know. It's prolonged the spread for a while. Travel restrictions. Now it's you. Now let's look at that setup with 12 communities and travel between them. By default, I have it set so that every day, each agent has a 2% chance of traveling to the center of a different community. Now let's try a run where once we hit 100 cases, we cut down that travel rate by a factor of four to only half a percent. What would you predict is gonna happen? The honest answer is that it depends. In some runs, it doesn't make any difference, and the majority of every community gets it. Other times, there are a couple communities that end up unscathed. In general, the earlier you turn on this effect, the more effective it is. But the takeaway here is that reducing contact between communities really has only a limited effect once those communities already have it. And as solutions go, it's certainly not robust on its own. As a side note, when we run these simulations with larger cities, which has the effect that city centers act like concentrated urban hubs, you can see how as soon as the infection hits one of these urban centers, it very quickly hits all of them. And after that, it slowly spreads to the edges of each community. Let's take a moment to talk about how to quantify this spread. Consider one person with the disease, and then count how many people they infect while they have it. The average for this count across everybody who's been sick is known as the effective reproductive number, or R. 
A more commonly discussed number is R0, which is the value of R in a fully susceptible population, like at the very beginning. This is known as the basic reproductive number. You may have noticed I have this little label on our simulations, and the way that it's being calculated is to look at each individual who's currently infectious, count how many people they've infected so far, estimate how many they're going to infect in total, based on the duration of the illness, and then average those numbers. For example, in our first default simulation with no added spices, R is around 2.2 at the highest part of the growth phase, before falling down as the population becomes saturated. By contrast, when we doubled the infection radius, R was as high as 8. This factor has a huge effect on the growth rate. It should kind of make sense that it jumped up as high as 8, though. When you double that radius, there's about 4 times as many people inside it to infect. When we chopped the infection rate in half, it hovered around the 1.3 to 1.7 range. While R is greater than 1, the infection is growing exponentially, and it's at that point that it's known as an epidemic. When it holds steady around one, that's when a disease is called endemic. And less than one means that it's on the decline. For compare- Okay, that's all we're going to watch from that video. Let's pass on that, and let's go back to the simulation and see if it's done. Not yet. Not everybody got it. Sorry, the frame rate was a little slow. Sometimes that happens. I don't know why, but the data isn't, you know, completely locked. But it, we could still work, as, work as with it, right? I mean, some people don't care about low-quality images. What just happened? These two communities have everybody infected, which would cause the disease spread much quicker. You know what? Let's say the duration is a whole lot more than before. Um, yeah. That's a lot. The infection duration is 100 days. But... It's perfect. <laughs> right now it's an epidemic. I mean, duh, the infection chance is 100%. And two communities have everybody infected in there. So it's kind of obvious. Mm, yeah, there is one community that did not get the infection. What? I mean, the travel chance is real low, but you know what? It's boring. Let's increase it to 10%. Yeah, now everybody should get infected. Not much. People want to live in this town anymore again. Mm, yes, many people are infected by now, and the infection is a pandemic where every community has the disease. So every community has the disease, and more than. Higher than ninety nine percent of the population got infected by now. Now let's reduce the infection. And let's reduce the t duration to Ta da Ta Ta Da Ta Da Ta Ta Da Ta Da 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 What? I know, it's weird. And now let's go back to this simulation. Very sadly, it can't simulate pandemic. Which I'm like, no! Because of that.
So, but at least we could see this. Which, this is a surprisingly big graph. Now, the hospital capacity should be quite, um, a large. Now, this community has a great health care. So, not many people would die compared to if the hospital capacity was low. Everybody gets the infection. Let's reduce the hospital capacity to 70% and see what happens. Ta da! 0%. Now, that is a community with low health care systems. This is a community with very high. I mean, it won't be bad as if there was no health care system, but there's still lots of people dying, which is a bad thing to hear. So, um, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Like and subscribe, please. Bye!